Hi guys, my name is Lewis. Welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to find your Don't Starve uh, like folder in the Steam app section on the 32-bit Windows and the 64-bit. Uh, I'm also going to be showing you how to install mods for Don't Starve on the most recent update. So uh, I've seen a lot of people on the forums and things like that having problems with this, especially on a 32-bit Windows. I mean, I know I had problems with it because I couldn't find the right files and things like that because they're in a different place. So I'm just going to help you all out. So first of all, you're going to want to just go to your um, documents. Oh, oh. Want to open that up? It'll bring you to this. This is for a 32-bit Windows, and you'll see right there it says Steam. So you'll want to just click that. So on a 32-bit Windows, uh, it'll be on the Documents library, the Steam folder. But if you're on a 64-bit, the file that you'll need to click on to search for the Steam folder is called Program Files 86x. Right? That's the only difference. So the rest is all the same. Then you're just going to want to scroll down all the way to Steam Apps, click on that, go to Common, and it'll give you all this list of all the games that you've got on your Steam. So as you can see, I've got quite a bit. So if I just open up the Don't Starve folder, it'll bring me to this. Now what you're going to want to do is click mods <clears throat> and you'll see I've already got some downloaded here so this will bring you to this mod folder that's how you get there then you'll just want to open up Google Chrome or Internet Explorer or whatever oh god it's taking me to this so if I go to Google and then if I type in don't starve foreign mods maybe, yeah don't starve foreign mods if I go on to oh, wrong one that one, second one down it'll bring you to the Cly Entertainment forum page uh, now you'll just want to click the tab that says download mods there right top and it'll give you all these different options like um, things like language packs, web tools, modding tools for modders and things like that. What we're going to do today is custom characters and skins. So I'm just going to click on one of them and you'll see there's not many so far but there are a few. So Some of them have powers, some of them don't. I'm just going to get Wilton because he's an actual character that was meant to be there. Uh, download all files, just click that. If it tells you to do anything else down here, then uh, you'll need to do that, but that's for specific mods. So Wilton tells you all abilities. Has only 20 maximum health. Uh, has only 20 maximum sanity. But it doesn't starve and it can't eat, so it doesn't have a hunger bar. So that's useful. He spawns a random skeleton on the map when he dies. You can dig up bones on the and occasionally skeletons from grave mounds. Will not dig up ghosts. Does do not does not do well in the cold. Spawns with an eye bone and it's good for Chester. So that is that. Uh. You won't need any of this code. But now that's downloaded, I'm just gonna drag that over to my desktop. 
and shut down Google Chrome. Then with that folder you opened up earlier, the mods folder, you are just going to want to... <coughs> sorry about that. Drag that into there. And right click and with either WinRAR or 7-Zip or whatever you've got, I'm going to use WinRAR here. Then we can extract to character Wilt and Powers Update. And that will put it all in a folder for you there. And you can just drag that back out, put it in your bin, whatever you want to do with that. And then just close that down. Open up Don't Starve. Where is it? There. So I'm just going to show you <coughs> that it does actually work here. Hopefully. Come on. Come on, Don't Starve. Right, we're back, guys. So, as you can see, it'll say install mods, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to click No Way. So that's from last time. And just drop down to the mods uh, tab. And here, character Wilton is right there. You can see him. However, the mod is out of date, so it's automatically disabled. You can't uh, use him. I don't think any of the mods are in today, or at least the characters yet so far. So, you're just going to have to wait until they update them, I guess. But yeah, if you do want to install it, just click enable there and click OK. And it should install it, which it has. But yeah, that's basically it. So I hope you enjoyed, guys. Uh, please let me know if this was helpful or not. Like I said, I had many problems with it because I'm on a 32-bit Windows and I couldn't find the folders, so... I hope that this has helped you with that, anyone on 32-bit. And if you've come across any problems, as usual, just let me know in the comments section and I'll try to help you out with that. But yeah, guys, I guess I'll see you next time.